Hi, I'm Dr. Ellie Porosef, audiologist and owner of Memorial Hearing in Houston, Texas. I went to the University of Texas in Austin and I got my doctorate of audiology in 2011. Um, I did kind of the same tasks throughout the years and, you know, help people hear better. But a few years ago, I had a coworker talk to me about earwax removal and I saw that they were starting to post earwax removal videos. And so I kind of gave it some time because I wasn't trusting the process. I didn't know if this was something that I wanted to incorporate into my office. Uh, but once I start, I watched her for about a year do that and post and talk about how amazing the irrigator was. And then after that, I felt comfortable to do it for myself. Once COVID hit, business was slow for a while. So I reached out to Newport with irrigator and I purchased my first machine back in October of 2020. I kind of wanted to dive into things and start filming, but I was a little bit uncomfortable with that. It's kind of scary to ask a patient to film, especially in the medical world with HIPAA and privacy violations so you're you know for me that was a comfort level that I had to get past once I got past that we started filming we wanted to amp up some business because it was slow so we went and uh, filmed our first few patients did some edits put it on TikTok, and it started to gain some traction probably by my third video it went viral I had about 20 million views and it and it was just crazy after that literally the phones did not stop ringing after that I had hundreds of emails hundreds of calls a day. We would stay at work till probably eight o'clock at night, every night, just to deal with all of these calls and emails. It's literally been crazy. And now we're two years later and it still hasn't stopped. I gave it a little bit of time, but the, the calls still didn't stop. And because of that, I had to hire a third audiologist and a third patient care coordinator. So my office literally has grown because of the irrigator. For some reason, a lot of audiologists have a fear of removing earwax. It's within our scope of practice, but for some reason, it's just not something that a lot of us are comfortable doing. I think mostly because a lot of audiologists are in an audiology ENT type setting where the ear, the ear, nose, and throat doctor usually is the one that just ends up doing it. So I think we got kind of comfortable with that. And now, especially if you're in private practice, you don't have that. So you risk losing a patient by referring them to the ENT if a patient's ear, ears are impacted with wax. And I'm not gonna lie, I was doing it too. I just did not wanna deal with ear wax. There was a time where my um, website development people were putting earwax removal as a search term, like an organic search term, and we were getting calls about it. And I remember freaking out on them, like, why are you doing that? We don't do earwax removal here. I don't want any calls about earwax removal. And now literally that's practically like, 75% of our business today is earwax removal because of the irrigator, but we weren't comfortable prior to that. And the main main reason is I didn't want to do curettes because you're picking on people's ears. If they're on blood thinners, they're going to bleed. I didn't want to do suction because it takes forever and it's very, very loud. And it's kind of scary to get a suction near the eardrum like that. And then I didn't want to do irrigation, standard irrigation, because the water is not warmed up and therefore the patient feels nauseous.